I believe so, because I just created you. Emmanuel is playing Sims, and he created me. That's you. You're happy. But also, what are you doing in the kitchen? You are you are making a mess. Look at this. Oh, look, we're about to oh, meet for the first time. For the first time. Ginger, leaves, oh, he leaves, oh, he's like, glaffy, but yuck, kachoo, ha. You are not having it. I don't know how I feel that there is a virtual version of me that lives in your virtual world. Yep. I can do anything I want to you. I can make you pee yourself if I want. Wait, what? Hang on. Hey, yeah, yeah. This take a whole lot of work. work. I'm about to put in overtime. Yeah. I got bars like Verizon. Okay. Money calling, baby, hold the line. Reunited with a thought. She wanted to kiss, I said, hell no. Chin up, mouth open. Only time to keep your legs closed. She do what she do well, That's though. True. Road head on Melrose. Okay. She say she open to females. Okay. Probably why she wear male clothes. Mm. I won't treat a girl stale, though. Yep. Am I just starting sitting already? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's going on guys? Uh, I guess for this vlog we're just going to show you all the stuff we're doing at home during quarantine because we can't leave or do anything else productive or interesting. Some of you who follow me may know that I have been working on this comic book called Sam and Death. It's kind of something I just work on in my free time, which I have an abundance of now, so it's something I'm going to get back on. But if you want to follow the Sam and Death Instagram account, it is at Sam and Death. Um, that's where I just put up drawings and stuff of the characters, and once the book gets a little bit closer to being completed, I'll probably be putting updates on there about maybe where you can get the book once, uh, that, that's a thing, that can happen. In the meantime, this is something that maybe you guys didn't know about me. I like, I love comic books, I like reading them, I like drawing them, and yeah, this is, this is an original creation of mine, so I'm gonna give you guys, not, not really a tutorial, I'm gonna do a little draw with me of, uh, the characters of Sam and Beth. Or maybe just Sam. We'll see what we have time for. So yeah, okay. Yeah, he's got a very angular face, but it's also kind of wide. I ended up figuring out like perfect proportions. His face on the side has to kind of go out a bit. It gives him a little bit of a younger, more innocent look. Yeah, weirdly enough, his proportion, and he's also got a really big head, but it's also, it's just kind of cartoon-like. Okay, and then he always has a very very, not smug look on his face, but very annoyed. Like he's just, he doesn't want to be here. For those of you who have followed Sam and Death or, or, or vaguely kind of know what the story is about, um, it is about this character named Sam, who uh, whose roommate is the Grim Reaper. And basically just the shenanigans that they get into and what it's like having the literal personification of death as your roommate. I kind of imagine this being like a toothpick with a pineapple on the top. Is what, what his proportions are basically. He just wears a simple white button up, button down shirt with a black tie. And he, I mean, he does have a personality, but the whole idea is that he is as blank slate as you can get. He finds himself to be pretty boring, which is kind of a, a little bit of a callback to like the, what they call like the cubicle films of the 90s. I think like The Matrix. Fight Club, uh, American Beauty, Office Space. So Sam is kind of my take on the cubicle film protagonist, this guy who just hates everything about his life and looks as mundane as possible. I guess you do any phantom type hair. <laughs> the only time you'll ever see his mouth is if it's for a specific purpose. If he's talking, then you'll see his mouth because he's saying something. Um, or if I'm trying to convey a specific emotion, like he's angry, so maybe he's gritting his teeth. Um, so anyway, there we go, there's our sketch layer. So bring the opacity on that down so it looks a little bit more like pencils. Create a new layer. And then, yeah, so here is where I have to kind of pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing and make these lines look a little bit more intentional. Sam of Sam and Death. 
Cool. So that's what I've been doing with my quarantine. If you like the drawing, if you like the art style, if you like the story a little bit that I talked about, like I said, you can follow at Sam and Death. In the meantime, let's check in with Josh. So this is the new normal, at least for a while. I think the hardest thing to figure out is how as a creative to stay creative and keep making stuff. I personally have been editing a lot of projects that were on the back burner. But today I wanted to make something new and I've never really shot a self-portrait before. So we're gonna give a shot at that. If you're a photographer, I suggest giving this a shot. It gives you a chance to create something new. I've never done this before, so uh, just walk you through what, uh, what, what I'm thinking. All right, the first thing I needed was some light, tripod, camera, and then my Lunchable. First picture I took kept it Pretty simple, just used a clean wall in my bedroom, but then I wanted to try something a little bit different. Went outside, took a couple outside on our awesome little deck that we have at the apartment. Uh, I think I ended up liking this one a lot better. Ooh, shooting, shooting those last two was, uh, it's kind of cold, but wanted to make use of our, our nice deck at our apartment. Still a little chilly for that, yeah. That's a, that was my attempt at self-portraits. You guys try it on your own, send them my way, so tag Broke Boy, tag Ooh. Josh Allen, and, uh, and right now we're gonna check in with Mike, see what he's doing for this quarantine. Hey, what's up guys? So Josh asked me to record this bit and to uh, just kind of check out on what's going on here. So because of the coronavirus, um, I haven't really been able to go out and shoot too much. I find myself digging a lot in the archives, re-editing pictures and posting those edited pictures just to get some sort of content out. Honestly, it's been kind of depressing, not really going out um, shooting. I haven't really been into the city all too much, just kind of in my neighborhood. Yeah, working on a few older videos. Um, right now I have a video coming out from when me, Larry, and Danny went to California. That should be out within the next couple of days. I have another video where I praise a lens that I love. I haven't done like a kind of gear review or anything yet, so I'm super excited about that. Yeah, just my day-to-day -day is just been waking up, hanging out. I still have class. I'm gonna, I'm gonna log into class on my computer here in a second. Oh, I've been cooking a lot. Learn, I'm learning how to cook. My scrambled eggs are nothing to sneeze at. Let me tell you what, that's where I'm at. Josh, Eam, Broke Boys, thank you for having me. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I can't have my own island in Animal Crossing. I'm really <laughs> upset about it. Be sure to like, subscribe. Let us know what you guys are doing during quarantine because apparently Animal Crossing is not worth it. Can't even do that. You know who I bet is handling this uh, pandemic really well? Oh. Wakanda. I need to go home. My scrambled eggs are nothing to sneeze at. Let me tell you what.